Welcome to this new edition of the Lab Report. Multi-search using intelligent infrared software for the identification of unknown compounds. I'm your host, Peter Muller. First, a basic primer of infrared theory to help us understand why FTIR is one of the most valuable lab techniques for the analysis of known and unknown compounds. Even a simple molecule like methane has multiple peaks in the infrared spectrum corresponding to the different vibrations of carbon and hydrogen atoms. But the good news from this is that each molecule has its own unique spectrum, often called a fingerprint. That's why FTIR is so valuable, because it allows a user to identify a compound based on this fingerprint or unique spectrum. Let me introduce the spectrum to FTIR configured with the universal ATR or UATR. The universal ATR is an accessory, as you see here, that allows for the analysis of any liquid or solid sample. You simply place your sample right on a diamond crystal that's right in front of my finger. And if it's a solid, you can use this clamping mechanism to clamp and put pressure on the diamond crystal with your sample, or you can put a liquid directly on here with no sample prep. Now, let's talk about something where we're faced with the analysis of a known compound. Here we typically just want to verify its identity and quality by matching to a reference spectrum of that known compound. With the compare software, we will automatically analyze a sample spectrum against a reference spectrum to produce a compare result. And that compare result will allow us to either accept or reject the spectrum based on quality control limits. But typically, life in a lab becomes a lot more complicated when we're challenged with the analysis of unknowns, especially if this unknown is a mixture. But this happens all the time in the lab. Remember when we said that each compound has a unique fingerprint? Just think of this challenge from having multiple fingerprints on top of one another, just like at a crime scene. A good example would be in a manufacturing environment when someone submits a contaminant from the process line. And here's an example of that, where if you're a polymer analysis company and you're producing polymer pellets, then suddenly your polymer pellets are obviously different when it comes to composition because you can see differences maybe in color or in size for the sample. Perkin Elmer, once again, comes to the lab rescue with our new multi-search capability. Multi-search was specifically developed to identify these unknown mixtures. With multi-search, a user can search and identify up to 10 individual components in a mixture, just like traditional search routines. This works best with user-generated libraries and with any commercial libraries. But the main difference is that multi-search looks for similarities between unknown compounds and combinations of reference compounds in the search library. The workflow of identifying components in a mixture is really accelerated since all this work is done automatically. Multi-search also provides a relative concentration for each component in the mixture, which traditional search techniques don't provide. You can really consider multi-search a combination of search and semi-quant. Which company simplifies the tough, everyday challenge of mixture identification? Simple, Perkin Elmer. To learn more about this application, check out the link in the description box below. And thanks for watching the lab report. We'll see you next time.